Yes, Patrick, you may want to add to that. Well, the, the only thing to add is, is the more you vaccinate, the more you put evolutionary pressure on the virus. So it's true that as you get up to very high levels of vaccination, that the virus is then struggling to find out what to do, and that eventually will become an issue. And, 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 the, vac uh, and the virus probably will mutate at that point, and that means that different vaccines will be needed in due course. Uh, all vaccination will ultimately put some pressure on viruses to mutate. Early indications show this variant may be more transmissible than the Delta variant, and current vaccines may be less effective against it. The early indications we have of this variant is that it may be more transmissible than the Delta variant, and, it, and the vaccines uh, that we currently have may be less effective against it. Yeah. It may uh, well uh, be, uh, the, make the vaccines less effective and it does have some characteristics of uh, vaccine escape. So there is a reasonable chance that at least there will be some degree of vaccine escape with this variant. The reason this one is worrying, as Chris has said, is the combination of transmissibility and the potential for some degree of escape from vaccines. Strong theoretical reasons for thinking that some degree of vaccine escape is likely. The one thing that I think makes people concerned, and that's why there's so much interest in this, is the number of mutations and the way in which that might change uh, the immune system's recognition of the virus, which is how you get um, vaccine escapes. Uh, all vaccination will ultimately put some pressure on viruses to mutate. The more you vaccinate, the more you put evolutionary pressure on the virus. 